<laughs> okay, so my uh, my name is Dennis. I'm a student here, and I'm also an intern at Bukupa, uh, an internet startup in the center of Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do a talk about animations in Ember. Uh, when I first thought about it, I thought it was well, animations. How hard could it be? But it turned out to be pretty tricky in Ember. Uh, yeah, I like Ember because it, it reminds me of Rails. Um, it wires everything together for you, but it doesn't do this for animations. And animation support was planned for 1.1, and I think we're now heading towards version 1.6 in the next four weeks or something. So the topic is kind of dead, I think. Uh, there are different use cases for animations. Uh, I think there are a lot of them. And the things I'm, I'm going to talk about are mostly transitions and the creation and destruction of, of things. Uh, <coughs> because the change and filter animations are really specific use cases and transitions and creation and destruction <coughs> use cases kind of uh, match up together. Yeah. So yeah, say you have a, a simple list then you will probably also have a child view, which you want to animate in. Uh, you will probably be able to switch to another child, so swap the, the states. And also animate the view out when you transition back to the parent view. Uh, and Ember provides a couple of uh, hooks in the view uh, for you to do this, sort of. Uh, you probably know the will insert element and the did insert element hook. Uh, for the swap use case, you can probably use will clear render, but I don't know for sure. But there's not a clear uh, uh, hook for it because uh, if the model is swapped, the view doesn't get re-rendered, so you have to manually do some dirty work. Uh, and animate out will use will destroy element. And I also noted that parent view did change is also a hook you can use, but I don't really find a use case for it, but maybe you do. So the animate in is basically you use will insert element to set properties on the view before you animate it. <coughs> uh, and you use did insert element to animate the view and do some other stuff if you want. And for the transition slash the swap, uh, it gets pretty tricky. This is something uh, someone suggested online. I don't know if it works. But basically you listen for a change in the model on the controller and then you can force a re-render, uh, a capture the old view because the view gets destroyed uh, before you can animate it out. That's basically a big issue in Ember right now. If you want to animate something, you have to clone it, uh, append it and then do your animation stuff. Uh, so I don't know if this works, but it might. <coughs> yeah, the animate out is basically the same story. The will destroy element uh, hook gets called before the element gets destroyed. Uh, you can clone the view, so you lose all the, the, the bindings and stuff, but you can clone the view, animate your stuff, and then remove the view. So yeah, you can defer the destructions of views unless you go deeply into Ember and override a lot of stuff, which isn't something you want to do, I think. It's also pretty verbose because on every view you want to animate, you need to manually you know, uh, add all the animation and the logic and the cloning. So you can use mixins, but I, as, as Elke said, it's not something I'm happy with. It works, but it could probably you know, uh, get some attention. Uh, and my findings is you're mostly working around the framework to get it to work for you. It, it doesn't really provide you know, the, the, the ember magic, so to speak, uh, to do your stuff and just say, well, I want to animate this and this and this, and let ember figure it out, which is mostly what ember does. <coughs> there are people trying to solve this. Uh, some of you might have heard of the animated outlet. <coughs> which lets you specify the animations on the outlet, so everything that's get, that gets rendered in the outlet uh, gets a certain animation. Uh, it also uses CSS for animations, which is somewhat uh, performance optimized, if you want. Um, but the back button doesn't work out of the box, so it's 
that's something that you want, you need to manually pull some stuff together to, to trigger it. Uh, and you also need to specify and, and declare every view you want to animate in that outlet. So there's some boilerplate uh, code involved. There's also Ember Animate, and I think this is the one who, which you know, gets the closest to solving the problem. I think uh, it provides animation hooks. Uh, it also overrides the destroy element hook, so you, there's still some uh, modification on the Ember Core. Uh, being done by this with this plugin, um, but it also supports animation sequences. You, so you can say, well, if I am going to transition to a new view, first animate the uh, the old view out and the new view in, or do it synchronous, synchronously, and you can also reverse it, which is also pretty cool. And it also offers back button support, um, and you can choose the animate, uh, animation techniques. Uh, you want so you can use CSS, you can use jQuery Animate or uh, some other animation library like Velocity or something, uh, which is also pretty nice. But however, I, I still think there's still a lot of uh, custom work involved if you want this to, uh, you know, work on a large code base. So this is my lightning talk, and it's. Want to add this with a question and, and, and a discussion? How do you think we can move uh, animations forward in Ember.js? If anyone has ever tried to animate something, at least. Well, there are some talks about um, combination of using Famous. I don't know if you guys heard of Famous the framework. Uh, well, basically, it's going to use different types of transition to animate for phone. Ads phone uh, application, so they're trying to kick phone gap yeah. away. And they're using, they're, right now they're talking about combining Famous with Angular, which <coughs> is actually the, the new thing, it's the next big, big hit. So I'm wondering if Amber is actually going to do that as well. And this will solve like most of the animation questions we have in terms of animations and not actually having fallbacks for that. Yeah. So, I don't know if anybody has uh, input on Famous and Amber. Never heard of Famous, but you know. Look it up. It's really cool. Really so, really cool. What, what is Famous? Uh, basically, it's. Uh, well, basically, uh, what PhoneGap does is, uh, well, when you create an app, basically, it allows you to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript to package everything into an uh, app application, so you can sell it for iPhone or Android or even uh, Windows, which doesn't need repackaging. But basically. Famous does this with the performance gains. So basically, it's not as slow as phone, uh, phone gap is. Okay. So that's their it's, selling it's, point. It's an app layer. Yes, it's an app layer. Yes. Or but it's using a different type of um, animation, basically, okay. to optimize the speed of all, to make it feel like it's a native app, which is really not. But that's their focus. Okay. Do, you, do you think that they're, they're what, what's, what's the reason that you think that this is dead? Because I think a lot of people want this. It, do you think it might a, be A lot of people want this, but, uh, you know, I, I searched around, you know, Discuss and all other, you know, Stack Overflow questions, and a lot of people are saying, well, yeah, just use uh, animated outlet and that type of stuff. But I don't yeah. think that's the solution. I mean, it, it's, it, it doesn't like give you the... people answering the questions don't want it. Yeah. Exactly, and there is some activity involved, but it's not like, okay, well, we're talking about HTML bars, it's just like a response every hour or something. I, I, I think maybe one of the reasons that no one is actually working on it is because all of the effort might be going into HTML bars, which is probably another full rewrite of the view later, right? Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> yeah, so do you think that, uh, that maybe this will be more likely after that, <coughs> after, if there's ever an after? Exactly, because it's now being postponed again, I think, or? No, I, I don't know. know. Well, but I, think, I, 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 I hope we'll so. Out. I mean, yeah. for me, it's like the, the, the missing part, except for the, the, the data layer that, that needs some work as well. To say, well, this, this is a complete feature framework which you can build really ambitious applications with, with the right amount of polish. I mean, uh, it's the, the plugin you mentioned last, um, and the, the library, um, I don't see any you mentioning any issues with it, um, uh, but you said it, uh, it wouldn't work in a large, <coughs> large code base. Is, is it still so much because uh, you have to set up all those hooks? You mean is that the, like the issue that you still have to 
set up a hoop for a view? Uh, that, that's not really the issue. I mean, you can always use the mix-in, but um, yeah, to me it's like if you, if you want to say, okay, I want to animate everything in this outlet, I want to animate it with slide left, slide right, basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, then you can write a mix in and you can reuse it and all that stuff. But when it comes to you know more specific sequencing animations, so uh, first I want to animate this and then that view and that that view, then it becomes pretty. Well, I don't know if you can really use this one. As a, as a, as a but are there like pull requests? Is there a pull request <coughs> which incorporates this into the Ember.js code base? Nope. Because that would basically, I think, be the. I mean, as a. If it mean, keeps leave, that's that's the step that Elt also described with the query params. I mean, you can if it keeps being put into plugins or external libraries. It, it's not going to be a problem that the Ember guys are really going yeah. to be concerned about until there's a pull request saying, okay, this is going to be merged into into Ember. So I think that yeah. I mean, <coughs> I would encourage you to, <laughs> to take that step. I mean, uh, it sounds like it sounds reasonable. Slide, but <laughs> <laughs> No, but I think the hard thing is, is uh, a lot of people are questioning, should Ember support animations? And to which extent? I mean, should it be a plugin or should it be in the core? But this sounds reasonably doable to me. Yeah. To, to incorporate. I mean, it's basically setting up, it, it's deferring uh, uh, view destruction and it's, it's setting up a couple of hooks, but it shouldn't be mind-blowingly complex, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I think so as well, but uh, yeah, if anyone wants to collaborate on it, uh, I, mean, I think this looks like a cool project for me to yeah. work on. If anyone has ideas or wants to help, hit me up. <laughs>